What's up everybody? Welcome back to York Reacts and today we're going to be checking out a brand new trailer from Atlas Fallen. Now this is from a developer called Deck 13 Games and they've been around for a while. I think they've been around for about 20 years. Uh, they're based out of Germany. This is a new trailer from Gamescom. They're releasing a whole bunch of new stuff today and I can't wait to check some of this stuff out. I do animation for a living so this is right up my alley and I can't wait to dive into this, check some of this out. And first what we'll do is we'll watch the entire trailer, we'll watch it go all the way through and then I'll go through and pause some of the stuff, dissect it, and maybe I can kind of give you guys some insights on some stuff that you've, you know, never seen in other videos. So, let's dive in, shall we? Oh, wow, graphically it looks really nice so far. The sand has memories. Memories of our past. When gods Ooh. walked this oh, world, glass. and our heroes stood amongst them. But the gods' vanity grew, and in their struggle, we were cast away. Only remnants of these stories remain. In the sand. In the sand. In the ruins of this shattered, broken oh, world. That. <laughs> this is looking pretty good. Dang. Ooh, wow, check that out. <laughs> That's cool. He just rises the bridge. That's amazing. <laughs> Even in ruins, we endure. <laughs> we won't oh, be done. For now, we can stand for ourselves. Wow, look at that sand monster. Whoa! And face... gods. <laughs> wow. Here's some gameplay. <laughs> nice. Nice work. And I love how they like hit us with some gameplay right at the end because the, the entire trailer, right? It was all cinematics and everybody's gonna complain. Hey, where's the gameplay? <laughs> so I'm glad they hit us with some cool gameplay at the end and it and it's impactful too. So like Let's. I just want to take a quick like look at the gameplay that we just saw. Just the the way the light is coming through there, and it looks like volumetric fog. It just it looks really good right there. The sand kind of pouring through all the crevices. Looks awesome. And then it shows here that you're going to be like fighting a bunch of crazy crab creatures and cool stuff. Wow. And the effects look pretty neat. <laughs> Holy moly. This is cool where you're like riding through the sand. Like earlier when I was saying when we were checking out this trailer, I was thinking, oh man, the gameplay is going to be cool of like, because recently I've been playing Fortnite where it's on no build mode and you can really kind of fly through the map pretty fast at, at times. And it feels really good to go really fast and then jump up and shoot and do. And so this might feel really nice as you're traversing through the map as you're kind of flying around. At least what they're showing off here looks really cool. 
And it shows that you're going to have a bunch of moments where it's like God of War, these huge, 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 huge moments. Pretty cool. Let the play, let the trailer just play through here one more time in slow-mo. Right out the gate, it looks really beautiful as far as the textures go. You can see this girl's face looks super real. And I don't know if they're using Unreal Engine 5 or not. Um, we'll see. It looks like a lot of the studios are doing that. They're moving over to Unreal Engine. And so... Who knows? It looks like they might be using it, but it's one of those things we'll we'll have to you know see at the end. Um, but looks great. Loving the lighting. Like look at the lighting right there. It's incredible. With the sun kind of coming through that piece of glass, which is sand. Pretty cool. Melted sand. And speaking of like glass and all these things, they show these beautiful stained glass windows in this moment here and then they kind of like um eventually they fade to a um a scene where like the stained glass building used to be and i thought that was really cool it shows that a bunch of time has progressed and that you know battles have taken you know course over you know millennia so that's pretty cool i really like that situation let me like fast forward it to that i can play it a little faster here that scene right there so after the stained glass it looks really cool showing off that scene because you can tell a lot of time has passed pretty neat loving the look of it in this cinematic I don't know who did the cinematic um, I don't know if it's the same studio who did that because sometimes or a lot of times a cinematic is done by another studio and so I'll have to look into it and if I find it I'll pop it up on the screen but it looks really cool might be done by Blur or somebody like that. Um, I love this effect of the sand going over his hand. Really neat. They might have done that in like Houdini and then passed it through into the game engine, but really cool. Powerful how you just lift this entire thing. <laughs> and then we've all seen this part here. This is great. The, the monster at the end looks incredible. Of course, they got to do the cheesy moment and the cliche thing of the monster coming out and... <sighs> <laughs> but it looks great let me know what you guys think down below let me know if you're gonna play this game if you've ever played the other ones that this company has released I think it's called the fallen and um, just let me know let me know if you guys are playing these other games called the surge um, I've only heard of the studio today I've seen their logo and stuff I used to work in Germany a long time ago at a game company called uh, a Coney games and so I, I remember seeing their logo, but I don't, I've never seen their games or played them before. So this one looks incredible. Can't wait to check it out. And uh, let me know what you guys think down below. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash like, like the Hulk. Smash. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.